The globalized nature of the auto industry creates plenty of anomalies. This Canada-built, diesel-engine luxury Ford Edge aimed at the European market is one of the more interesting ones. Consider the Edge Vig now to be a visitor from a parallel dimension, or an insight into what Uncle Henry thinks spires on the other side of the Atlantic waft. Barring only the GT Supercar, it's the most expensive Ford product on sale in Europe, pricier even than a V8-powered Mustang and all but the hugest transit vans. Ford intends to produce Vignal variants of pretty much all of its European models, with these positioned above the existing hierarchy of trim levels and aimed, straight-facedly, at premium brand rivals. These are to be sold using separate lounges at selected dealerships and with a complimentary concierge service similar to that of Lincoln's U.S. market black label system. Yet, while the Kuga, aka Escape, Vig now feels distinctly out of its depth, indeed, it made us feel increased regard for the Lincoln MKC, the classier edge fares much better in this luxurification process. Much of this is down to its generous standard equipment. European Fords normally are short on features, but the Vignal has upgraded navigation, LED headlights, 20-inch chrome wheels, and power-adjustable leather seats as standard. It also comes with the enhanced instrument cluster, featuring larger digital display areas integrated into the speedometer and tachometer. Adding all these items to the less expensive, UK market edge titanium would bring it close to the same price point. Then there's the leather so much leather. The Edge Vig now gets a high-trimmed dash top and door panels to match its upholstery. It doesn't quite reach Bentley levels of bovine lining, but it's still unusual for a Ford badged product. The plusher trim works far more harmoniously in the Edge than it does in the cheaper feeling Kuga Escape, thanks to the larger car's higher quality base interior. It's true that fingers don't have to wander far to find some cheaper materials, and the widely distributed buttons for the various VAC functions don't feel as if they're paying much rent, but the overall aura of quality is pretty effective. Space is as generous as always in the edge, with the lack of a crammed in third row seat giving the Vignal an equally cavernous cargo hold as its US suburban.